In my first video in this series, I made a comment that at some point you will most likely have to install the Data Analysis Tool Pack, and unfortunately, Excel Online does not support any add-ins. So to install the Data Analysis Tool Pack, you'll need to download the desktop version of Excel. Now, that doesn't mean your journey in biostatistics using Excel is over and you have to go directly to the desktop apps. It's just that having that add-in helps calculate some of the, the statistics a little bit easier and automatically uh, more so than uh, using the Excel online version. So to do that, you'll notice I'm, uh, I've got an Excel, a full Excel page up, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to my, uh, my, my Word, or uh, sorry, my web version, and I'm going to take a look at that version online here. And when I go to the data tab, uh, most of the time, at least the instructions you should have will say something about uh, a data analysis button, and that you know, button doesn't exist here. And that's where you'll know that you, you need to download the full version. So I'm on the web. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close my tab here of having Excel open, and then I'm going to click my Home button up on the top left. And when I go back home, you'll notice that I have an Excel Office button that's clickable. So I'm going to click that and choose Office 365 apps and click that button. Now, when I click that, a download will begin and it will be an Office install file. So it will be a .exe file. Once that's once that finished downloading, downloading, <laughs> excuse me, once that finishes downloading, go ahead and double click that file and it will launch the installer. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire install process here. Uh, I'm going to assume that part is pretty straightforward and you you know how to install uh, a pretty simple app on your computer. Now remember, you have licenses or you should have a license for both the Windows 10 or Windows PC version and licenses for Mac. So if you're running uh, an Apple Mac, a Mac computer, you can install Office there uh, as well. All right, so once it's installed, I'm going to head back over to Excel now. So let's go ahead and choose this untitled Excel file that I have. And I am going to uh, go to the data tab, data uh, section, and then you'll notice I have data analysis already there. Well, the first time you install this, that particular part of the ribbon won't be there. To add it, we're going to go to the File menu, and then all the way down at the bottom to Options. A window pops up for Excel options, and we're going to click on the Add-ins section. And then if, if at Excel Add-ins isn't already in the drop-down, hit the drop-down and choose Excel Add-ins. You could be on Com Add-ins to start with, so just choose Excel Add-ins and then click Go. From here, you'll want to check the box for Analysis Tool Pack and Analysis Tool Pack VBA. Then click OK. And when I click OK, I may get a warning about installing these items. If you do, just click yes. All right, now uh, I'll go over and you'll see that I have the data analysis button in my data ribbon. And when I click on it, now I have the ability to choose some of the analysis tools that I, that I want to run in here, okay? So once you get to the point where you're doing regression, uh, moving averages, uh, and some of the different types of tests, like a t-test and a z-test, you'll need that. Um, I'm hesitant to say histogram. I'm actually not a huge fan of the Excel histogram tool. I find it easier to build them myself than doing it in, in Excel. So uh, those tools will be there. You can do, you can do correlation, covariance. Uh, I think the main thing that makes speeds up your analysis is the descriptive statistics tool. So you have, if you have to create that summary table, uh, as part of a standard analysis that goes really fast using the descriptive statistics tool. Okay, so that's the data analysis tool pack. Now we're going to move on to some more specific functions that you'll need in your analysis.